Yep. Okay, Mary, let's talk about teacher burnout. First, the fact that you recognize that you might be burned out is actually a really good sign. It means there's still time to take action to fix things instead of, like other folks, wait too long, deny it, pretend it's not a problem until they are just burned to a crisp and they're done. You're not there yet. That's a good thing. And what you're feeling is very common, common in the best of times, almost expected in these times. You are not alone and I hope that there's some comfort for you in that. So I started teaching in 1998. In 2014 is when I started my teacher blog and the tagline on my blog is on a mission to prevent English teacher burnout. And that's true for the people I serve. I wanna prevent your burnout, but it was also true for me. That's why I started the blog because I was getting burned out then. I remember one afternoon I was looking around while my students were working so peacefully, lovingly, and I still thought, I don't know that I can do this for another 15 years. So I have a lot to say on this subject, but not a lot of time here in this little video. So I'm gonna just rapid fire things and then y'all can ask questions and then we'll start a conversation. As much as possible, work contract hours. Anything you can get done during the school day, do during the school day. Grading prepping, writing letters of recommendation during SSR, having six period move the furniture in the last five minutes of class so that things are set and ready for Socratic seminar for first period tomorrow. If you can, cut any extra duties. When I stopped taking on the yearbook advisor role, I could breathe again. Recognize what is and isn't in your control. You can control what happens in the four walls of your room. You can control your response to others, how you design your day, how you use what time you have, how much fun you actually bring to the work. If you need ideas about how to make your classroom more fun, let me know, I have some. Identify the biggest factor that's sucking the joy from teaching and then you need to go fix that thing. For me, it was grading, so I put all my energy into fixing that problem, use codes, it's great. Um, and then I had energy to take on all the other things after I fixed that one. So what is your single biggest stressor? chase joy in your private life. Do something that gets your batteries juiced up again and makes you excited. For me, it was always learning something new. So swing dance, playing ukulele, trying to do a chin up, um, 75 TikToks in 75 days. I added something like this for my students too. It's called 20 time. Know that it's okay to say goodbye to the classroom for a while or forever. We need good teachers to stay and do this work and be part of the positive change, but we also need you, Mary, to be a healthy, whole human. Teachers have a crazy deep well of skills. There's lots you can do in your district or in another industry. Finally, action is power. When you decide